Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Nova Atis. Now, when we left off, I, well, I was, this is becoming a runny theme. I was sick, and I'm still sick, but feeling a little bit better than yesterday, so, yeah, we're doing another episode here. Now, I have received this event. I'm actually unsure what it's all about, but I don't like the look of it. I don't like the look of it so far, because as you can see right here, I highly recommend you to offer your apologies to do justice, given my stature. Young and fast boy runs through the streets running over you. So, yeah, we have four different options about how we react to this. 90% chance gaining good proudness trait? I have no idea what kind of traits there are, but... Good proudness? I have no idea what good proudness is, and we lose minus 100 prestige for doing that. And then option two is to gain a 75% chance of gaining a good proudness trait, and you lose 50 prestige. And then otherwise, it's just losing no prestige, and we gain bad proudness. So I can assume that we, us losing 50 prestige is not that, not actually that bad, as far as I'm aware. I think we have quite a lot right now. We are now a journeyman, by the way. Yeah, we are now a journeyman, so that's pretty good. I have gone to work a little bit, but what I was currently doing was running around selling slaves. I've already sold all of my slaves, so that's why I have a little bit more in our inventory there, in regards to Florens, of course. But otherwise, I just wanted to do the quest that we took a long time ago to hunt down this guy, and I wanted to do that, but unfortunately the village was raided so I couldn't actually enter it, and so I've been waiting at Sargoth until it becomes not raided, if you know what I mean. So anyway, I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to select option 2 because prestige is always available. We can always go and cut down some trees, can't we? It's gonna take a long time to get 50 prestige back with three each time, but I feel as though getting a 75% chance of gaining a good proudness trait, that's pretty good, right? So, I mean, it's, I mean, that's the thing. We only gain 15% and we lose 50 more prestige, so I think option two is probably the best. Oh, okay. What, what what actually happened here? There is actually a tournament going on here as well, so I thought maybe we could participate in another tournament, but let's actually just have a look here. So what's my prestige about? My prestige is 219. Did I lose any? No, I, I, I don't actually know. Journeyman are people who completed an apprenticeship. He is fully educated in a trade or craft. Not really, actually. Not really. I'm not actually fully educated in a trade or craft, because I haven't really gone to the workplace very often. But anyway, journeymen tend to live in towns, serving their guild. Well, that's the thing, I, I haven't done that either. I also have not harvested our wheat just yet. We're going to probably do that, but I'd like to fight a couple of tundra bandits as well, so we're going to get to all of that, but as you can see, Quinn is still looted. So I'm, I'm kind of a bit sad about that, because I'd really like to get that done. So I guess, shall we just spend some of the time doing a tournament? One of you actually gave me some much needed changes to the tournament here. Three members of three? Wasn't that, wasn't that what you said? Three members of three? Where's that? Three teams of four? Where's three members of three? Three members, oh, okay, so apparently I, I, am I missing it, or uh, two teams of three? There, ah, there we go, there we go, ah. Yes, it was the way it was read, it was a little bit weird. Okay, so yeah, that's fine, that is fine. 24% difficulty? Oh wait, let's, uh, let's bid a little bit. Oh, we can't do any more, because obviously the, the points, the points. So what about three teams of two members? That might actually be okay. I, I don't know. I feel like oh, there's three teams of three. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay, I completely missed that. That was that was pretty bad of me. But anyway, there we go. So seventeen hundred, and we're gonna take a lance and a shield, enhanced weapons, all that sort of thing. And apparently, proficiency does have an effect. So thank you for letting me know about that as well, because I was a little bit worried about it. So yeah, let's let's go and fight, shall we? Let's do this. Oh no. The enemy also has a couple of people with lances and things, so that's not going to be too good. Oh, there's 78 damage, but not enough to kill him. Wow, not enough to kill that guy. Okay, well, that was pretty good, so maybe we can get a little bit more. 
next time we charge into one of them. That would be kind of nice. There we go, 114. Yes, that's what we're talking about. That's what we like to see. The red team's actually doing pretty well here, which is not good, because now I won't be able to get my points. Oh, or maybe I will. I took out quite a few of them, but I don't... Am I I'm actually... Oh, yeah, yeah. Even if your team wins, you still get that. So that's pretty nice. So that's, that's cool. Let's just continue onward, shall we? And we'll see. Ah, here we go. Yes, we are gaining a huge amount of money now, which is really nice because what I would like to do, I did make a brief stopover in Zendar because one of you said that it would be a cool idea to get a boat to travel over to a colony or the new world or something along those lines. And yeah, I've actually checked it out. The prices of the ships are actually not that much. For a 40 strong boat, we can actually expect to pay... I think it's 8,000, so that's actually not that bad for 40 people. That is pretty good, so I'm kind of happy about that. But otherwise, probably the colony on the other side in the New World is probably going to cost a huge amount, so that's probably the reason why many of you may be warned against doing something like that, because it would probably mean that we will have... Well, we need a lot of money. We need a lot of money to take over there. So, yeah, I'm going to try and see what I can do about getting a huge sort of like mm, real estate empire going. I think that would be really cool to do. So we're going to try and do that. I'm going to just get as much money as I can. That's why I'm mainly doing this tournament as well. Obviously, the tournament is also to purchase extra real estate and maybe even to upgrade some of our forces and that was a very very bad lance wasn't it very very bad okay so let's see if i can uh, this is not going to happen is it i mean we are the red team so we are technically drawing right now with the blues the greens are not doing too well uh, they, they have just taken one of them out oh there we go there's a kill and i'm gonna try and go over here and then turn around oh, there, oh the blue fellow is after us sir we won't we will not allow that come on red fellow you must eliminate him where's the where's the rest of us Oh, 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 there, there, there they are. There they are. Okay, so, yes, he's, he's trying to poke me in the face. I'm not, I'm not particularly happy about that. He has a very long pole arm. Okay. Oh, yes, here we go. Let's go first person for this. We're gonna try and see whether we... Ah, okay, apparently not. Apparently not. I got there a little bit too late, but that's okay, because we still get the bet. And the points are... Right, we're rank one! We are rank one! I had no idea. Okay, well... Apparently we're doing quite well here, and that guy was already taken out. There we go, there's another one. There is another one, 153 damage. Apparently increasing our proficiency is really helping with the modifiers right now. Uh, stay away from me, please. Thank you very much. Yes, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut away right now, because obviously we've seen the tournament in the previous episode. It wasn't that good. I didn't do a very good job in it. I was feeling pretty bad. I'm feeling a little bit better today, but obviously... Yeah, we're doing quite well here. And how many more rounds are there? Rank round four. I would assume that there's probably going to be another two rounds. So I'm going to cut away right now. Going to participate in those. And maybe in the last round, I'll cut back. But let's just... Let's actually have a look at the standings here. Okay, so... Who's actually doing really well right now? Well, Sir Percy. Sir Percy is beating us by one point. So let's hope that we're not on the same team with him. Oh, well, uh, that, oh, oh, that, that, okay, well, <laughs> my apologies, that seems to actually be it, that seems to be the end of the tournament, I didn't realize that was the final round, I was just having a lot of fun, actually, and it slipped my mind, but there you go, we're getting some really nice experience here, I'm actually hoping that I'll be able to increase my trainer skill, because right now, our novices are not gaining any experience while we're just waiting around and doing nothing, so it would be kind of nice if that would be the case. But as you can see, we are actually number one, and we have gained Jaguar armor, which is sounding to be very cool. 750 experience, 1,100 florins, and 45 renown. The renown is going to come in mighty, mighty handy. And there we go. So can we join the feast now? You need to be... No, see, you still can't. You still can't join the feast, even if you've won in a tournament. Well, that's a very... Uh, well... It's kind of a shame, but, well, that's how it is. That's how it is. So we've gained Jaguar armor. There it is. Well, it's not better than what I have, but it looks hilarious, and I would love to be able to use it. 
maybe on a companion, maybe on a companion. So as you can see, I actually did a little bit more mining before I left. I still have the fine turquoise, so it would be a, an idea to actually sell that. Uh, yes, but obviously, oh, oh, there's the trait. Oh, so we actually did gain a trait. Oh, that's actually really nice. Okay, behaves in a noble and proper way without prompting. This man behaves in the right manner. He's honorable. Well, we are honorable technically. Diggory is honorable. And that means we gain plus five prestige per week. And we can check traits by pressing V, which is here. Wow, okay, I had no idea. I had no idea. We are 27. I had no idea we were 27. That is very close to my real age, actually. But, oh, let's let's not speak of it. No, not, don't speak of it. Okay, so there we go. We have the honorable trait. Let's have a look at... Oh, wow, okay. So the king, the king of Swedia has the pious trait, the insane trait. Oh, wow. Oh, that is... Oh, that is amazing. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all of that, but apparently lords have all kinds of different traits now, which is kind of amazing. But yeah, I'm just darting from subject to subject right now because I'm quite excited about things. But yeah, I mined some stone and my mining pick broke. Yeah, I didn't know the mining pick could break. I think I saw a comment regarding that. I have no idea why the mining pick can break, but the woodcutter axe... And the scythe cannot. Obviously, the, the scythe, I mean, it's it's cutting wheat, so it's not really a big deal. But, yeah, that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. That's kind of cool, but, well, yeah, it's kind of sad that it, it had to break. Okay, so Quinn. Quinn is now available. Yes, let's go. Let us go and hunt down Raishad of... Saren, yes. King Olaf Forkbeard. This is for our liege, if we are going to join. There's the rents from our residences as well, 1,421. Very nice. And we also gain plus 5 prestige. So we lost 50, so 10 weeks, and we'll be back to the normal amount of prestige for that particular event. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so what are we going to do here? We are going to go in to the village center. And we're going to take out this guy... I hope, because you know me, I'm pretty terrible when it comes to fighting this bandit for some unknown reason. Not entirely sure why that is. It's probably because I usually tackle him when my proficiencies are awful, and I overestimate my ability, perhaps. That might be it, but where is he going to be? I'm hopeful that he'll actually be behind one of these... Uh, one of these buildings here, but it doesn't seem like that is the case, but maybe, maybe if I keep going around, we might be able to spot him. He, he might be here. No? 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 Not at all? No. Okay. So, I'm gonna cut away, and I'm gonna see whether I can find him. He might be over at the mine, or he might just be towards the center of the town, so I guess I'll just look around a little bit. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so I ran around the entirety of the village, and I went to the mine, I went to the lumberjack area, I went to the archery range, I went everywhere, and he was hiding in here. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> that's my bad. That is my bad, certainly. I am looking for a murderer by the name of Person... Yes, then drop your sword if you are innocent. I come not for money, but to execute the law, Diggory. Yes, Diggory does do that. Yes, okay, so he's... Wow. Yes, he's very, very dead. I'm going to get out my bow, because a nice headshot will suffice. <laughs> yes, take that. Take that, you fiend. Okay, so there we are. Thank you for that, and I have completed the task. So, finally. That's all I can say. Just finally, because... Wow, that took a long time. Okay. So, how much money do we have now? So we have 15,400. That is really nice. I'm actually hoping I might be able to get... Ah, see, this is the thing, okay? Should I go to the Guild Hall, or should I go to the Guild Master and donate to the Guild Hall? Because apparently that will give me a huge amount of prestige. That will give me like 100 prestige, apparently, according to some of you. But on the flip side of that... I'm not getting an additional revenue stream because I'm not purchasing another piece of property. I personally feel like getting 
a piece of property or should we say four pieces of property in every single town is going to make things so easy so so easy in comparison to donating the little money we have and the money that's taken us quite a long time to actually acquire that i don't know it doesn't doesn't really s sort of sit well with me in that regard but maybe maybe we're gonna do that i actually don't know but we're gonna visit the workplace and see if i can work again getting ready for another day yes there we go okay so i did check at the guild master i have a five percent chance yes a five percent chance to create the masterwork and who knows maybe if i <laughs> if i wanted to be sort of a little bit shady then i could potentially save and then try the five percent and then if it fails then reload and go over and over and over and over again until it actually works if it is truly a five percent chance but i don't really want to do that i kind of wanted to do it sort of much more legit but well it depends it depends how things go but for the most part i would like to do this completely legit because that's what the mod is all about it's all about actually you know rising up from zero and i don't actually mind enhancing things here and there because I don't have a problem with that. I mean, if you're going to do that in your own game, I, do, I really do not have a problem with that. I just think to myself that maybe it would be a cool idea if we could actually get all of this stuff done with within the confines of the game. Anyway, add 10 stone units. Yeah, there we go. Now we have 22%. 22% done. And I have no timber on me at all, which is kind of sad. But I'd like to try and find Lord Olaf. Is he around here? Diragun. Diragon, come back here. Oh, uh, Serdin. I'll, I'll speak to Serdin instead. Oh, is that him? Oh, there's Olaf. Never mind. Okay, I don't need your assistance. Thank you. Okay, so... Hello there. I would like to... <laughs> I would like to offer you my sword and vassalage. Yeah, I could actually join them. Could I? No. Yes. Be gone, beggar, before I lose my temper. Oh, that's that's kind of sad. That, that really... That really hurts. Anyway, I'm not going to be accepting the blood money. There we go, gain some honor, the very small amount of honor that we have. As you wish it, journeyman diggory, as you wish it, an honorable sentiment to be true. Yes, do you have any tasks? Oh, okay, so yeah, I can destroy another hideout, why not? That gives me actually 60 days to do that anyway, so I don't even need to do it right away, which is absolutely fine. So, yeah, I guess that's it, I guess that's it for this episode, we're gonna end this off here. And off screen, I've been doing uh, quite a bit of stuff. So yeah, this mod seems to be one of those that you actually do need to do quite a lot off screen, which is kind of a shame. Do you guys want to see some of that harvesting and stuff? I mean, that's the thing. I don't want to show us harvesting wheat all the time. You know, I don't want to go like, oh, today on today's episode, we're going to be harvesting some wheat. No, I don't want to do that, you see. So that's the thing. Harvesting wheat would be really, really cool because then we can obviously get flour and that's really nice but speaking of flour i think i may have actually eaten all of the flour with my troops as you can see here we actually don't have much food remaining so yeah the flour could actually be used to feed our troops hilariously enough not entirely sure how flour is nutritious or or tasty but once it's baked of course yeah then that's absolutely fine once we have an enterprise then that wheat field is going to be insanely good but anyway i thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time.